Yeah, it's definitely over. But this, this is why. Well, I'm back out here in the bear den again. It's my first time out on a solo mission. It feels kind of weird being out here by myself. I've done all my other summits with Kirsten so far. Her ankle seems to be getting better. I'm really hoping she's gonna be able to be out here on the next one with me. Cause it's nice to have some company to chat with on the way up. Try and roche me yet again today. This is my third attempt at it. So I'm really hoping to actually see the summit today. It's a really beautiful looking mountain. Well, here's the final push to the summit. It honestly doesn't look that bad in person, except for the loose rock. I'm basically heading straight up the shoulder of the mountain. I'm gonna aim for the gully and then work my way left until I can scramble my way to the top of the mountain. I'm not gonna lie, this one feels pretty good. Third time's a charm, I guess. I wasn't sure if there'd be a register up here. Now someone brought a face mask. I hope this wasn't used. Oh, the register got a little wet. Well, if you want to know what I wrote, I guess you're just going to have to come up here yourself. It's not that bad, I promise. It's a little windy up here, so I'm going to head down to the car, have Kirsten pick me up, have lunch, and move on. You're probably wondering why we're moving out of our van already, having only lived in it for about two and a half months now, and the short answer is the demands of our work has kind of exceeded what we feel like we can service from our van. We're in constant need of a reliable internet connection, and as great as our cell phone plan is, a lot of the places that we like to travel to are just not connected at all. That sounds like an excuse, but the reality is is that it's really a lot more complicated than the short answer. Not that we don't love living in our van and all the places it's taken us, but it is really nice to finally set down roots and get our cat back. <laughs> That's just one of the reasons. Western Canada was kind of calling our name. We just didn't know where. To answer the question, are we gonna be selling our van? No, well, at least not yet. We actually have quite a few adventurous outdoor activities planned that we can really use our van for. So when is this all gonna happen? It's kind of already happened. We're also going to be leaving our van in a couple days from now to go home and visit our family and collect one thing that's very important to us. For those of you that have invested your time in our channel, don't worry, we're not going anywhere. Our channel is going to survive. It's time for us to go do some shopping to make sure we're ready to bring a cat back. We need a litter pan. We stayed at Walmart the last two nights, which really brought it full circle for us since we spent our first few nights out west here at this exact same Walmart in Calgary. It feels kind of homey to be back here, and I have to say it's a really good place to people watch because we watched two uh, vans show up and set up a whole table and picnic in Walmart, which I'm not really sure why the Bow River is just right over there, and it would have made for a nicer backdrop for a little picnic. Oh my god, it's swimming! That's definitely not enough for her, but... <laughs> we had to pick up all the cat essentials because there's no way I'm putting a litter pan in my suitcase. So we picked up a litter pan, some litter, and of course, a scratching pad. Even though we're not going to have any furniture for her to scratch, it is very important for her to have this. So that. She doesn't start scratching the walls. Honestly, I think the only thing we're actually going to be able to bring back is clothing. So this little furniture stuff, it goes a long way to make her happy. Although she's not gonna like this at all. Starting route to Flying J. Bye Walmart. In 300 meters. I would hate to leave that sitting in an airport parking lot for five days. Oh, I wouldn't want to find out what that smells like. Good 
not be more excited to finally get back on a plane and to spoil ourselves with business class is an even better reason to get on the plane today. The business class portion of this video is sponsored by our own personal Aeroplan loyalty account. After saving up all the miles we could to fly internationally and not actually being able to use them, we decided to splurge on business class seats when they were made available for a reasonable amount of miles on the Aeroplan website. And we needed the extra baggage allowance for the return flight. We found out our flight was delayed four hours. Luckily, the people here working at the lounge were super helpful and were able to rebook us on a flight that leaves in the next hour. We still got window seats, 7A and 8A. Unfortunately, we lost our seats while this was all happening. So it's uh, business class office chairs for now. We got a flight to catch. It's time to go. D87. D is that what? This is DC. Okay. This flight change was great news for us because we were guaranteed to miss our connecting flight with a four hour delay and it would have meant a night in the Toronto airport, which I don't want to deal with. Well, it might be nice to check out an airport hotel. I think it's going to be a pass for me. I'm very excited to be rebooked. Hello. It's already boarding. I wish getting on board that second flight was as easy as it just looked. When we scanned our boarding pass to get on the second flight, the gate agent informed us that our boarding pass was not valid and apparently we were not supposed to even be on the flight. The gate agent blamed the new Air Canada system and theorized it must be because our original flight was delayed four hours, even though we had gotten an email confirming that we were most definitely supposed to still be on the first flight. So Air Canada decided to rebook us the following day 24 hours later. And the only reason we actually got on the flight the same day is because there was a no-show. And this is after they gave six tickets to standby passengers. Safe to say we're not too thrilled with Air Canada right now, nor with the gate agent that was yelling at us as if this was our fault, but at least they finally got us on the flight, so we have something to be thankful for. Thank you. This is their uh, breakfast burrito. It looks, uh somewhat appetizing. Security was a nightmare. We have been told that we could ask for a private room and that turned out to be a bad decision to ask for a private room. We ended up just carrying her through, but when we asked for a private room, we had a whole bunch of managers come over and try to convince us that we didn't need one, even though they said they were gonna get us one. Doesn't matter. I think it's because the private room, they're using it as their break room. How are you doing, Soph? Say hi. Well, that was good timing. Is it? Oh, I'd good. say. Boarding. Who's your seat, princess? Hi, baby. Hi, yeah. You cut on a plane? You cut on a plane. <laughs> Hi, Sophie. She's gonna be great. She's doing so good. because my butt was starting to get numb. My seat is missing foam. I've been actually sitting on the hard business class seat for the entire flight. So I just got another pillow from the flight attendants to make it feel a little bit more comfortable. There's only an hour left in the flight though. What can you do? I think she'll be happy when it's done. It's almost over another hour. One more hour and then an hour of driving and waiting for our luggage. Hi. Hi. You're so good. Safe to 
Lisa should think she likes flying. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> she made it. Fast forward a few days and here we are settling into the apartment nicely, including Sophie who traveled much better than we ever could have imagined. We're in the process of furnishing the apartment. It's looking a little bit empty. We're gonna try and furnish this apartment as a complete thrift job. That means buying pretty much only secondhand furniture. So that's gonna make for an interesting challenge for us and should also help us save a few bucks along the way. As for the channel, well, it certainly won't be a van life channel anymore. It's kind of hard to make van life content when you're not actually living in your van full time anymore, but we still have the van and we now basically live in the adventure capital of this area at least. So a lot of the activities that we like to do, we're still gonna be able to do. And I actually think this might give us a bit of an upper hand with some of the winter activities that we had planned. If there's anything that that you guys want to see from us, leave us a comment down below or feel free to send us an email. Thank you so much to our patrons for making videos like this possible. We appreciate your support so much and we can't wait to share some new interesting content with you in the near future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.